What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today, the mod tutorial will be on Buildcraft. This was a highly requested mod by you guys, so I decided I'd do it today. And uh, this mod adds a whole bunch of stuff to Minecraft. It basically it kind of changes Minecraft completely, almost. Um, it adds things such as um, quarries, you can make factories, and there's just a whole bunch of stuff you can do. Um, so, I'm just going to show you the quarry. Sorry if you can hear my cat meowing in the background. So, um, what we have here is the quarry, then the cobblestone transport pipe, and the iron gears. Um, so, this is just pretty much everything that I'm going to need to make this quarry and have it work. So, I now need to craft the combustible engines. So, if we take the iron gears... And I'm going to make two of these because you can make it to where um, it runs two engines on one quarry to make it go faster. I do need some more iron. need three more. Oop, too many. Okay. So I'm just doubling everything up right now. And then we put two glass right in the center and then the pistons so there we go we have two combustible engines and everything else we're gonna need I should probably grab one more chest just because this will be a big big thing we got here okay so now that I have my combustible engines I'll go ahead and set the quarry down let's do it right here as you can see it builds this frame. Um, you don't need to worry about anything that's in the way of it because it will just clear those out. So we set down our combustible engines on each side of it like so. Like I said we can use two. Then we put our levers in front of those so we can turn them on and off. And now we will put our chest and then we'll take our cobblestone pipes. Probably going to need to make this go one higher. There we go. Then bring it over into the chest. So that is the quarry built. Let me just go ahead and set it to where it's daytime. And then we simply turn the engines on. Um, oh, forgot we need to put fuel. So let me give myself some fuel. Take our fuel buckets. I'll just put two in each, each engine just to get it going for now. And as you can see, it is building the frame. So I will go ahead and pause the video here. And once it is completely built and working, I will show you guys the video of it working. <laughs> so I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so it is finished building itself, and it will now start drilling. So since I have two engines, it will go pretty quick. Um, it only took maybe like 30 seconds to build it, so you can see it's drilling out everything that's in the in its way, and you can see all the material is going to go into the chest. Um, I was just filling these up with some more fuel, so we'll be able to run longer. So um, another thing you need to know about the um, combustible engines is, as you can see right now, the um, they're both on blue right now, but it goes blue yellow no blue green orange and then red and that is basically the heat of them if you let it get to red they will explode and destroy your quarry so when they get to orange um, I would say that you should probably turn it off and let it cool down back to green or blue until you start again so if I go ahead and show you the chest you can see it's just packing this thing full of the materials 
So again, I will pause this and I will come back when I've gotten pretty far into the ground. So you can see that and then I'll show you how to install. Okay, so it's made it quite further since uh, I last showed you this. And the engines are at an orange color now, so I should probably shut them off soon to let them cool down. But yeah, that's pretty much that for the quarry of this mod. Um, as I said, this thing adds a crap load more stuff to Minecraft. This is just a small portion of it, a very small portion of it. So I will go ahead and cut the video for the preview here. And I now need to clean out my Minecraft jar, so after I do that, I'll be back and show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip, whatever you prefer to use. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download ModLoader, ModLoader MP, Minecraft Forge, and then all five of the files for the BuildCraft itself. And to get all of these files, I will go ahead and give you the link to these four pages in the description. And BuildCraft does have its own website, and that's where you will uh, download all the files for it from. And um, if you go to documentation, you can see the recipes for everything, and then here's more uh, videos on it. And just all the information on the mod will be on this website. But we will be under the download battle crap build craft for Minecraft 1.0.0. And what you're going to do is go ahead and click on all these links. Um, I'd recommend left clicking it, or right clicking it, I'm sorry. Then doing open link in new tab. And then it'll take you to an ad fly. And you wait five seconds. And then up in the top right hand corner, it will say skip ad. And as soon as you click on skip ad, it will automatically download it. So that is how you're going to download all five of the files for BuildCraft. Um, just go through and do that with each one of these. And then when you're ready to download Mod Loader, come to Resigami's Mods and scroll down past all this stuff until you see Mod Loader 1.0.0. .0. And you can either do download AdFly or direct, whatever you prefer to do. I usually tend to do direct because it's a lot easier. It'll just download it straight from the page. Then you're going to go ahead and come over to Flans Mods and download the Mod Loader MP. So scroll down to where you see Mod Loader MP Unofficial. Go ahead and click on that. And it'll bring it down here. And either do AdFly or Mediafire, whatever you prefer. Um, I think the AdFly will take you to this Mediafire. But if you don't want to deal with AdFly, you can just go ahead and click on the Mediafire and download it from there. So that is how to download the Mod Loader MP. Now for the Minecraft Forge. We will come to Minecraft Forge and scroll down a little tiny bit and do. Um, uh, make sure you're downloading the client version, not the um, server. Yeah, don't do the server. Do the client version for 1.0.0, not 1.8.1. So again, you can click on either one of these links to download it. I'd recommend the Mediafire. So that is how to download everything. Now, when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to Start. Type in percent app data percent and hit enter and then go into your dot minecraft then into your bin go ahead and left click your minecraft jar then right click it and do open with winrar or whatever archiving program you're using now your bin we can go ahead and close that we don't need that open anymore so once you have your minecraft jar open go ahead and open up mod loader highlight all these class files and drag them in and hit ok Go ahead and close Mod Loader. Open up Mod Loader MP. Highlight all of these class files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Mod Loader MP. Open up Minecraft Forge. Click on Forge. Hold Shift. Scroll all the way down to the bottom while holding Shift. And then click on the last class file. And that should highlight every single file on there. And drag all that into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Minecraft Forge. Now for the five build craft files, you're just going to do this for every single one of them. Just go ahead and open it up and then drag all the files into your Minecraft jar. And hit OK. So you basically just do this for every single one of the build craft files. And there should be five of them, so just do this five times pretty much. Okay, and then here we have the last one. Hit OK. So you go ahead and close all that. 
So once you have all these files into your Minecraft jar, what you're going to need to do is delete the Meta Imp folder. So go ahead and left click Meta Imp, then right click it and do delete files and hit yes. And that'll delete your Meta Imp. Um, always delete your Meta Imp. If you don't do that, it will stop Minecraft from working when you're trying to install a mod. So that is it. You can go ahead and close your Minecraft jar. Uh, the, it's pretty simple to install this, but um, yeah, like I said, it's a little bit repetitive for the five files for the build craft, so just do the same thing for each one of those. So that's it. I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.